Hey guys, Retro Badger here. This is the Normandy SR2 from Mass Effect. Now, I don't know too much about it as it's been about, gosh, maybe 10 years since I've played Mass Effect, but this ship is armed with quite a few unique weapons and it also has a cloaking device. I thought as a first test, we'd put it up against the Probert Ambassador, the Enterprise C. So let's see what it can do. Right, so maneuverability is very good. Javelin, so I'm assuming that's javelin torpedoes. Oh, wow. Okay. Nice. So it's quite a long ship. It feels like a fighter craft. It's very maneuverable. And we've also got that cloak as well. Interesting. Now I did play Mass Effect, but not too much, so I played it for maybe a week or so. So I didn't really get too far into the story, but from what I remember it was quite good. You had um, multiple choice, so in the conversations you could say certain things which would then affect what happens in the game. I need to pick that up again. Whoa. The ambassador's fighting back. So, in terms of power, it's actually quite good. I thought the Ambassador would be a good one to try it out on, as it's kind of like a mid-range ship. Oh, I like that, how we just dodged the phaser, that was cool. Nice looking ship. Get the warp core. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I think they're out of the fight. Oh, there we go. Right, I think we should try it against a Stargate ship. Okay, so I'm going to go against the Asgard Upgraded Odyssey. This mod also comes with a Systems Alliance version. And the textures are quite nice on it. Oop. Okay, so we've dented their shields a little, but not enough. Captain, their attacks are draining our starboard shield. Oh gosh, no! Wow. Okay. Let's try that again, but I'm going to try some tactical warping this time. Let's try warping. Hey, we can warp as well, that's cool. Should we try the cloak? Oh, there we go. Oh, it's all zoomed out, that's weird. The problem with cloaking in battle, well, you all know what the problem with cloaking in battle is. As soon as you decloak, you get targeted before the shields have a chance to come up. They've got a cloak as well. Of course they do, yeah. Oh. Yeah, that was sad at the end of Stargate when the Asgard home planet blew up, much like this ship is doing now. So overall, I'm quite impressed with this ship. I'd put it at maybe the Ambassador class's power level, maybe early next generation, but of course Quantum Torpedoes will just rip it apart. The mod's currently on Gamefront, I've put a link in the description below if you want to check it out. Well, thanks for watching guys. Bye for now.